friends. Did you like my cookies? Yes, Grandma. That's good, because I made them with my own fingers. <laughs> Dementia. Call Hazy Memories Nursing Home. Leave them here, we'll watch them. This is Dr. Richard Pepper and Dr. Colin Pibb. With us is General Mills, and we are about to begin the autopsy on the unidentified life form found in Crash Site 51 in Roswell, New Mexico. The life form is roughly a meter and a half in length, 89 pounds, 7 ounces, and has a cranial circumference of 45 centimeters. Dr. Pibb, if you will begin the initial incision. Beginning initial incision. We are cutting into the alien life form's torso. The creature has a very sponge-like sort of tissue. We are nearing the stomach. Um, there appear to be peanut butter candies in the alien. Are there any organs in there? I'm still looking. Uh, here. Look at these. Um, the, the candies seem to have a hard coating. Well, the reason. Hey, we don't say the brand name. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe they're not in the torso. Maybe it's in one of the limbs. It's your piñata. I had two piñatas. I tied them to a weather balloon and they got away. You ruined my party. What? What party? My party over in Mexico. Oh, we were going to have chalupas and gorditas and margaritas and just meal. Get the fuck out of our secret base. People, settle down. Settle down. We will be keeping the beaches closed until further notice. Is it true that there's a bear in the ocean? Is that what ate the Henderson's kid? We're trying to get to the bottom of what has been attacking our community. It's a bear! It's a bear! People, settle down. Settle down. It's not a bear. It's a shark. Who are you? Name's Flynn. I was on the USS South Dakota. You were in the Dakota? 1949. We just delivered the A-bomb to be used on Hiroshima, China. On our way back, we got tagged by a Kraut U-boat. Whole ship was in the water in less than 35 minutes flat. Temperature, seven below. We tied some life vests together, formed groups of four each, and we're just out there, bobbing in the water. 
It wasn't two or three minutes past before I heard the first screams. Mako shark, 12 feet long. That's distance between the dorsal fin to the tail. Every minute or so, we'd hear some screaming. Then thrashing in the water. And then silence. See, the thing about a shark is that when it rolls up on you with those dark, dead, cold eyes, it's like it's not even alive. Shark takes life, but he ain't got no life in him. Shark is nothing but death. Anyway, that's what you got there. That's your shark. Right, guys? I'm sorry. What did you say? Sorry. What was that? So I find out that one of the kids from that show, Home Improvement, lives in my building. And you know how much I love celebs, right? Yeah, man. Uh, yeah, man. So I'm thinking, I throw a killer party, maybe he's gonna show up. Yeah, look, I was just stopping by, so I think I'm gonna get going. So. No, 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 hang out, man. Uh, meet some people. Uh, hey, Stacy, Stacy, meet Sam. Meet Stacy, Sam. Hi. Hi. Nice to meet you. Likewise. Yeah, cool, okay, and uh, meet Betty also. Betty, come meet Sam. One second. Dear God, please let this work. Stacy, I want you to. Betty. Oh, uh, hello. Uh, hi. Damn it! Fuck! Are you okay? Yeah, it's just that. Fuck! It's so close! Alright, how much do you make? $35,000 a year. You? Forty-five. Jeez, really? All right, forty-five. Let's go. Hey, why so glum? You look familiar. Yeah? You ever seen a little show called Home Improvement? Ah! What are the signs? <laughs> ah! So, how much do you make? Thirty-five k. No way! That's amazing. Can I stay at your place? Okay. Breathe, breathe, breathe. You're doing good. You're doing good. Now push, push. That's good. Keep pushing, keep pushing. Push, 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 push. Stop pooping. I'm sorry. Push with the other hole. Okay. Okay, 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 good, 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 good. I can see the head. I can see the head. You can? Yeah. I got him. I got him. I got him. What happened? I lost him. What? He's crawling back up. We got a runner. A runner? We got a runner! Okay, stay calm. Stay calm. We're gonna get that baby out of there, all right? I'm going in. Hold on. There we go. I got him. 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 I lost him. Son of a bitch, baby. Nothing ever changes. He's on the move. 
Be cool. Everybody be cool. We can take him out from here. All right, now just say, ah. <clears throat> He's on to us. Where is he? <laughs> He's on the move. I got him. He's going out the bottom. He's going out the bottom. He's in the leg. He's in the leg. Nurse, surgical axe. Oh, God! Congratulations, miss. It's a girl. So that's when they had to attach it to my leg. That never happened. We don't have kids. Oh, what? It's like a menopausal thing or something. She's losing her mind. La 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 Looks like it'll take a few minutes to get unstuck. Nobody better do anything while I'm stuck in here in this chimney. Pretty powerless. Pretty vulnerable. None of you kids do anything naughty. Nobody do anything to old Santa Claus while he's all helpless. Oh, if if anyone decided to do something to Santa Claus, he wouldn't be able to do anything to, to stop him. None of you kids get any ideas. Oh, boy. Oh, if someone got a bad idea, it would be a jolly old time for old Saint Nick. Sex robot, sex robot. Sex robot, sex robot. Sex robot, 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 Still fucking out there. What does he want? Did you call the police? Yeah, like two hours ago. Uh, hey there. Can we help you? How did he get here? How did you get here? And what does he want? What do you want? He wants sex. Uh, well, that is not happening, Buster. He'll never stop. Yes, he will. Even in jail. Could we put him in another fucking cell, please? Sex robot, sex robot. He'll hump the bar. Oh my god. Sex robot, sex robot. What are you? Do you want to get down? I told you no! Sexing up your town. Sex robot, sex robot. 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 He's made of sex. Sex robot, 
Sex robot. Sex robot. Sex robot. What did we learn here today? Seems to be the problem. Well, Doc, my mouth is stuck open. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. Been stuck open for three whole weeks. I can't get it shut for the life of me. You're speaking to me right now. What's your point? Well, to speak, you have to control your jaw muscles. You can do that, so clearly you can close your mouth. Uh-uh. My mouth actually never shuts when I'm speaking. It may look like it to the naked eye, but if you look really closely, it never actually shuts. Go on, Doc, take a peek. Yeah, I'm not gonna take a peek. Go ahead, check it out. No. Come on, hold my tongue down and take a look for yourself. <sighs> Looks okay to me. Ah! 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 Stop having sex with my wife! Jesus! You're gonna rip your dick off. What? What? If you stick your dick in this vacuum cleaner and turn it on, you're gonna rip your dick off. Why would I do that? I don't know, sir, because it's not gonna feel like a blowjob. How would you know? I mean, I'm not going to. Good, because if you did, you would rip your dick off. So, are there like multiple power settings on this? Yeah, moment? yeah, there's high and there's low, and both of those will rip your dick off. That's, that's such a weird way to describe the power settings on a vacuum. I mean, is there like another vacuum? That won't rip your dick off? I'm just trying to clean my apartment, it's this man. one, right here. This is a vacuum cleaner that sucks dicks really well. I don't know what your deal is, man, but I just have a messy apartment, and you're being a real weirdo. I need this. My apartment's dirty. Mm-hmm. $1,400? Watch, this motherfucker's still gonna buy it. This is ridiculous. Nasty-ass vacuum fuckers. Here. Daddy, I see some kids from school. Come on! Okay, just... Pull it, quit pulling. Whoa, 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 and welcome to the Barf Museum. Whoa, whoa, I'm not feeling very good. Whoa. No, not, not me, just the kid. Whoa. Yeah, awesome. Daddy, I want to go on the vomit site. Can I go on the vomit site? Yeah, go, just stay on your leash. <laughs> I know that look. Yeah. What is this, a birthday party? Yeah, birthday party. I've been to three birthdays and two bar mitzvahs here in the last month alone. God. Philip, get off the slide. Philip! Ah! How do you do it, man? My kid here is a little bit hyperactive, so I got him a prescription of Adderall, and before we go out, I'll take a couple of those. Four score and seven years ago. No, uh, no, 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 I'm just here for my kid. How come you're dressed like Lincoln? Oh, this? It's just that schools can send their kids here on field trips. Hey, my kid's flunking social studies. You want to go puke on him? He's lying on the ground over there by the chunky bars. <sighs> you want to hit the parent pen? Sure. Come on. I mean, I used to have friends. I had hobbies. I was interesting. Well, now... I spend all my time chauffeuring them around to 3D movies. Yeah, man. Kids blow. It's like, I don't, I don't know how my life became, you know, this. You know what? 
Screw that. I mean, why do they get to do everything they want and we follow them around like we're their servants or something? Yeah. I don't need to watch your stupid Japanese cartoon show. I'm the grown-up. Yeah. I don't need to help you with your homework. I already graduated. Well, actually, I think that one is a little... You know what we should do? We should leave them here, then go out, you and I, and tear stuff up. What? Look. Ah! They love it here. They can't get enough of the place. Let's go out, do what we want to do, and come back at the end of the day and pick them up. Well, we can't... We can't just leave them here. I mean, we gotta... We gotta watch them. Why? All the utensils here are plastic. We're good. No, I mean, like, what if somebody... What if somebody takes one of them? Who's gonna want to take that? Well, the people that generally take kids are... You know, child molesters. Dude. <laughs> Covered. It's... Okay, and we are golden. All right, kids, here's 20 bucks. We'll see you at nine. All right. Good job, kids. Ugh. Hey, man. Oh. You puked on my kid. That's all right, man. You can puke on my kid. These kids love puke. <laughs> oh, man, I don't even know if I can puke.